Safe bottom is Wang Time and welcome back to Ultima Halo. Are you sitting down? Just sit down. Don't stand up. Just bend your bob your knees and do a squat. Squat on your chair. Because we've got a lot of news today. Got a big old post I've got to tell you all about. Basically, 3 for 3 is closing down and there's no more Halo. That's it. So that means no more Ultima Halo. Bye. So before we get this video going, let's try and get 300 likes on this video. If you don't see 300 likes or it's close to 300 likes, add a, add a like to the list. To the list? To the to the numbers? Just get likes. Like the video! Huff and like it, you huffers! So I'm going to try and condense this video as much as possible, but here we go. It starts off with a word from David Ellis, the multiplayer producer of Halo 5 Gardeners. And I quote, During the Warzone Firefight beta earlier this year, you generated almost an incalculable amount of data from your in-game efforts on Escape from Ark. In that short period of time, we had more coverage on that map and those objectives than the entire development of the mode to that point. For that, we thank you. Your efforts helped make Warzone Firefight a better experience for everyone. Now that the full release across six maps is out, the amount of data that you're generating has grown exponentially. In general, we're pleased with what we've seen regarding the conquering of those pesky AI foes. However, that data, alongside feedback gathered from a variety of internet locales and social media, helped us identify a few objectives that were not quite playing at a difficulty appropriate for the round that they existed. Below, you'll see a more complete list of the changes you can expect to find in our new hotfix for Halo 5 Guardians. Please note, there are some additional under the hood changes that in this release that should improve your in-game experience now and help set up for further updates as we continue to fine-tune Warzone Firefight in the future. So the Warzone Firefight adjustments are as follows. First map is Urban. Move to defend the garage objective from round 1 to round 2. Move to defend the Forerunner Power Core Hill objective to round 3. Moved Eliminate Knight Sublims and the Phaeton Helmsman to Round 4. Moved Eliminate the Banshee Raiders objective to Round 4. Moved Kill 35 Prometheans objective to Round 3. March on Stormbreak. Reduced target number for Kill Soldiers objective in Round 2 from 50 to 35. Reduced target number for Kill Knights objective in Round 4 from 25 to 20. Raid on Apex 7. Moved Kill 60 Grunts objective to round 3. Moved Soldier Bandit Boss objective to round 3. Moved Eliminate the Hunter Particulars to round 4. Moved Eliminate the Hunter Premiers to round 3. Moved Eliminate the Warden Eternal to round 4. Moved Kill 25 Knights objective to round 4. Reduced the number of Night Waves that come in with the Grunt Boss in round 5. Skirmish at Dankstar. Move to defend the armory to round two. Move to defend the armory Promethean to round two. Move to defend the armory Covenant to round one. Move to eliminate the soldier commandos objective to round one. Move to eliminate the Phaeton Helmsman objective to round four. Move to eliminate the Warden Eternal to round three. And finally, escape from Ark. Move to defend the garage objective to round four. And move to eliminate the recon pilots to round three. Now hopefully all of these changes will improve the overall Firefly experience because there are some of those modes and objectives that were too early on in the match and we didn't have the weapons to counter it basically. So hopefully that should sort out that issue. And next up a word from Tom French, you all know him as the God of Forge. Follow him on Twitter, there he is. For Forge our focus was fixing the light bake generating lighting issue on Tidal. Ironically enough, the issue arose in relation to a change that we made in how we structured the map internally. A change that we thought would actually optimize the map a bit more. Unfortunately, it actually ended up causing everything in the skybox to relight, resulting in drastically increased bake times. This new hotfix should address these issues immediately and improve players' forging experience on Tidal. So basically, the lighting issues have been fixed on Tidal. That's what he said. The next interesting thing is that Fiesta Slayer will be making a return soon. Everybody loves a bit of Fiesta. And now some Killer Instinct news. If you don't know what Killer Instinct is, it's a fighting game that Microsoft are making. And they recently added in Arbiter for whatever reason, and it's pretty cool. And now they've added in another Halo character that they made specifically for this game that is called Fractured Ward. Now, while not an actual fighting character, Fractured Ward acts as a power-up, giving your character extra armor in-game. And Fractured Ward has actually been written into the Halo lore, which is pretty cool. Fractured Ward is a powerful AI construct created by the long-vanished Forerunners to aid warriors on the battlefield. While assisting in the defense of a vital teleportation array, 
fractured ward was thought lost in the facility's catastrophic destruction. The battle against Gargos has widened the cracks between worlds, releasing fractured ward from eons of lonely wandering in the crumbling refuge hidden between dimensions. Built to defend and protect thinking life, fractured ward has identified this planet's heroes and works with them to heal branches in reality caused by demonic incursions. So it's pretty cool that they've actually kind of merged these universes very slightly and given it a kind of mystical kind of thought to it. Fractured Ward will be available on Killer Instinct on 20th of September on the Xbox One when it gets updated then. And uh, I don't know if you have to buy it or not. Maybe you could just ask very nicely. They might give it to you. I don't know. Don't tell them I said that. And next up is an image which I, which I had a mini heart attack when I saw it because I thought it was Halo 3 Anniversary. But no! No! It's some um, talented mother flipper who made the most convincing Mark VI armor I've ever seen in my life. How dare you mislead me like that? You and your talent, how dare you? So at this part, Grim Brother 1 was being interviewed by somebody at the 405th Infantry Division. If you don't know who they are, they are the Halo cosplayers of the world. And they were asking Grim Brother about armor aesthetics and styles and stuff like that. If you want to read up about that, you can either go in the waypoint. I'm not going to read it all out because it's really long. Or I'm sure Halo Cannon will do a video on this. So um, go and find Halo Cannon, his channel. You know what his channel is. Go on YouTube, just put in Halo Cannon. And uh, he's probably got a video on that. If he doesn't, what are you doing? Come on. That's, that's what you do. And the last final piece of important information from this update was a screenshot from the upcoming file browser for Halo 5. So what it very much looks like is something that's in the menu after you've made your map in-game. Where you can go edit name, edit description, edit tags, link screenshots, toggle search visibility, delete bookmark, like, and save a copy. That is loads of options. That's brilliant. It looks like they're adding all the functionality we will ever need for finding maps and having a file browser. While it is a shame it's taken this long, it's incredible that they are doing it really well. So again guys, well done, awesome job, continue with this awesome post support, we all really appreciate it. And that's it, there are a couple more bits and bobs in the community update, but you can just have a look at it yourself, you know? <laughs> Just go and read it yourself, you lazy bugger. The link's in the description below. And of course, if you can, let's get some likes on this video. Again, let's try and get 300 likes on this video. And of course, subscribe if you have not already. And if you have subscribed, unsubscribe, then resubscribe. Do it. Why not? You'll be an even better subscription. So that's it. So safe. My name is Wayne Time. I'll live a long time. I'll see you next time on Ultimate Halo. Ta da. Now for more fun, freaking believable Halo content.